Hello again everyone, my name is Kevin Ayers and welcome to my videos regarding my unemployment experiences. So far in this series we have discussed a higher level overview of my unemployment brainstorming. We've considered the basic stages of loss along with the concept of ambiguous loss. Uh, we've discussed how meaning can be derived from your employment. Uh, we discussed creating your story about unemployment that you share with others. And last time we spoke about the three suggestions of starting where you are, doing what you can, and doing your best. If you haven't seen the other videos yet, that's okay. You don't have to watch them in order. Stay where you are, sit down and get comfortable, and check this one out. If you like it, then check the other videos out and give me some feedback. Hopefully, the videos get better every week, mostly because of the feedback you have given, and I do appreciate that. Keep it coming. This week's quote is from Robert Frost's poem, The Road Not Taken. It begins, quote, Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both, end quote. You may be more familiar with the last lines of the poem, but I encourage you to go read the short poem in its entirety after watching this video, of course. Today, I drove past two of my old employers, and I did that for some interviews that I had. They were the two employers that let me go, so I've decided to discuss what I call the travel path. It's the old path to work and back, which may bring back some of the ambiguous feelings of loss that we discussed in the earlier videos. I've cho chosen to focus on the paths that used to be the tra travel path to and from my jobs because the employment was severed, and those were the paths that I took more often than not. There are other locations throughout the, the current city that I live in that take me back to the job experience, but not so much the employer itself. So I'm going to focus on the travel path between uh, work and back. After uh, being released from work, the travel path back home, which is where I went immediately after being released, because both times I wanted to take off the uniforms, I didn't want to wear them anymore. Uh, the drive home was not the same. It wasn't the same drive as it was whenever I was employed. Um, I had the ability to take different paths to and from work, and I often did. The path that I'm referring to was the one that I took the most often. This main path then started to take on a different meaning immediately upon being let go. As I was leaving the parking lot, everything you know, changed. It looked different. Uh, the, the roads, the trees, the other cars, the signs, the businesses and such, they took on a different meaning and a different feel than they had just the day before. Currently, there are two main directions that I, I travel to and from my home, and both of these paths are the same paths on which I, I used to travel to and from both of my previous employers. Um, I'm taking the same roads now, but not to work. Uh, I'm usually headed somewhere else, like today, with some interviews. And uh, sometimes the drive is to, to meet someone for lunch or some activities or you know, just uh, running some errands. Somewhere along the way, the old memories will start coming back, and I feel like I need to process them. Uh, again, I encourage you to write down what you're experiencing, not while you're driving, of course. Uh, unless you're using a voice recorder, you, you keep uh, driving and, and you can record it that way. But soon thereafter, try to put it on paper. Try to capture that feeling and that experience so you can so you can deal with it. Uh, sometimes along the travel path, I've, I've even felt you know like I was going into an autopilot and uh, my brain thought that I was going back to that you know, location where I used to work. Uh, if it happens to you, I just hope that you snap out of, but out of it before you get there. Uh, my children have a, a gymnastics class that, that happened to be right next door to one of my old employers. Like right next door, I could put my arms like this and, and almost touch both buildings at the same time. It was uh, the office that uh, my old employer shut down and it's since become the home of another business. And uh, that's a good thing because I didn't have to, to deal with seeing or having to uh, visually deal with uh, my old employer at that time. Um, another instance was for my most recent job where I had to travel to a supply warehouse that was across the street from the office that did not shut down. Uh, this office is where they transferred all the employees from the office that was shut down. And I could recognize many of the cars that were in that parking lot as I drove by. And I had good thoughts of all the people with whom I had relationships on a, a daily basis, but it was kind of bittersweet. Um, then there's the travel path on the way to my wife's work and the, the kid's doctor that falls along the path that uh, was my most recent employer. 
if I'm not prepared beforehand, I, I begin to uh, mentally relive some of the rush hour traffic scenarios, uh, concerns about being late, and that uh, just general job dread that I used to feel. Um, I have to reframe the story of these paths over time so that a, a different, more important, a better, less negative story takes precedence. Uh, on the path to my most recent job, I would listen to two specific podcasts. I did that because I could listen to both of them and finish in the time it took me to leave home and arrive at work. When I take these paths now, like I did today, I make sure that I listen to something different, a different podcast, or maybe just music, so that the, the mental connection to the past will not become stronger and that the, uh, the new memories will replace them. After some repeated travels back and forth on those paths and consciously changing my, my mental story, uh, the old feelings would crop up, but less, off, less and less often. So I'm not sure they ever go away, but they have been replaced with uh, better memories. And each path I take strengthens the, uh, the new and better feelings. Uh, I came back to this week's topic after thinking I had completed it and was ready to record my video. And uh, I just wanted to add a few thoughts in here somewhere. Um, I was considering how I would file this week's topic. And I came to uh, an idea of overcoming small challenges first. Um, just because it's a small challenge does not mean that it's insignificant. However, taking on something small like this, it keeps it from growing into something bigger later on. Also, uh, it's, in, it's significant right now because it strengthens uh, my ability to rise to meet the, the next challenge, which may be a bigger challenge. Um, and the bigger challenge will, challenges will definitely arrive later on. Uh, those challenges will come soon enough. And uh, overcoming the smaller obstacle, however, however small it is today, does not mean that you don't have to deal with the same thing later on. Uh, you might as well learn to overcome it now and keep getting better at it each time until it does go away for the most part. Uh, there is a question that I ask myself with some frequency lately, is uh, especially when things start feeling bad, is how do I make this situation better? And this is a situation where that question applies. Uh, I've explained how I created new memories and stories to go with the old paths by dissociating old things and associating new things with them. Uh, just one of my tools in my toolbox that I use. So you might be asking, Kevin, why don't you just take a different path? And I could eventually do that, you know, just outright avoid those travel paths and, and let time take its course. However, what I'm trying to do here is to conquer the negative feelings and prevent them from exerting any type of control over me during the times that I find myself on the old travel path. I, I believe there are consequences later on for not acting on them now. And I think being intentional and on purpose in this instance is better than avoidance. You may reach the same destination in the long run, but I believe conquering those feelings right now will get you there faster and prepare you for other similar situations that you just cannot avoid. And we'll come to those later on in the series. For now, let me know your thoughts on today's topic. Uh, when this gets posted, feel free to speak your minds in the comments section down below. Send me a text message or send me an email Give me a thumbs up if you liked what you've seen and heard. Subscribe and ring the bell so that you will be notified of new videos when they get posted. Uh, before we leave, I did the New York Times crossword puzzle today. I hadn't done it in a long time. It took me a while, but I finished it. And then over here, Sudoku. I did that in Spanish today instead of English. It's fairly easy. All right, take care, everybody. Have a good weekend.